The union representing doormen and other building workers has authorized a strike if they cannot reach a contract deal. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor explains a strike could impact residents living in more than 3,000 buildings. On Wednesday, thousands of members of Local 32BJ of the Service Employees International Union gathered at 79th and Park Avenue asking to be compensated for their service throughout the last two years during the pandemic. We want fair wage increases. I work for the pandemic. Yeah. Doormen like Francisco Lee, on the job for 24 years, say it wasn't easy. I got to drive over, you know, I couldn't take train and bus or something like that. Were you concerned for your health coming into work every day during the pandemic? Yeah. The union wants the Realty Advisory Board to agree to a new contract for 32,000 porters, supers, handy persons, and door persons throughout the city. In addition to wanting a pay increase, they don't like proposals calling for cuts to some paid vacation and sick time. They also want to continue fully employer-paid health care for families. In a statement, the Realty Advisory Board said in part, quote, the RAB has proposed fair and reasonable wage increases, as well as the sharing of health care costs through employee contributions to the premiums, of which employees currently pay zero. Building management companies are sending out letters like these to residents in the event of a strike, letting them know that in some buildings, security guards may be in place of door people and ask you to provide proof of residency. Most won't accept deliveries. Service elevators will be out, meaning no move-ins or move-outs will be allowed. Amenity spaces like gyms, roof decks, and resident lounges will be closed. There won't be anyone to clean the hallways or common spaces. We all can volunteer and take some uh, slots, so hopefully it won't come to that. I'm sure if it happens, people will volunteer to man the door. I'm certainly willing to do that. They're not taking any packages, and it's a little bit of an inconvenience because when I'm not home, who's going to take the package? They end up sending the package back. The contract expires at midnight on Thursday. If a deal is not reached by Wednesday, a strike could happen. On the Upper East Side, Alice Gaynor, CBS. News. The Realty Advisory Board adds the strike authorization vote happens every four years and does not mean a strike will occur. The last strike was in 1991.